Welcome back to Quinny Connection. It's so great to talk to Suzanne Humphreys from the Quinny West Public Library and joining us from the Belleville branch just around the corner from our downtown studio it, at Kojiko, it is Chief Executive Officer Trevor Pross. Trevor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Quinny West is revving up with their services, drop-off drop -off services, of course. So what's happening in Belleville right now? Yeah, so we're uh, doing the same. We've got a return service now. If you have items out, you can return them. Um, it's, yeah, we have about 10,000 items that are out in the community. Uh, so we are saying if you can come between 11 and 7, Monday to Thursday, and 11 and 5, uh, Friday and Saturday, uh, and that would be this week. And then hopefully by next week, we'll have our overnight bins that you can put in overnight. But for now, just with the volume of items coming back, we're asking people to just use those limited time slots. And all that's on our website as well, if, uh, if you, if you want to look it up. And you can drop things off. And then new this week for our uh, services is the pickup option. So you can go online to our website, bellevillelibrary.ca, and in the top right corner is a search box for the catalog, and that'll bring you into our online catalog. You can log in with your library card and uh, choose the books you want and the movies and the, the items like that. And then you'll get a message either by phone, email, or text saying that you have an item ready to pick up and we just ask you to contact us and book a time slot. It's similar to what Quinny West is doing where you'll book a time and it'll be an hour window. So it'll be uh, say, you know, Tuesday at 2 p.m. You come in between two and three and you can pick up your bag of books and there'll be very limited contact. We'll sort of put the bag there for you and you grab it and if you aren't comfortable using the website and going online to do it, then you can actually email or call and just say, hey, you know, can you grab me some DVDs? Uh, I like, you know, science fiction and that kind of stuff. And we'll choose some things for you and we'll get you uh, ready to, to pick up the physical items. Yeah. So if we have everything out in the community, no fines being applied due to the pandemic, of course, but is there a plan long term? Quinny West did mention a six month trial period with possibly no fines. So is there much discussion about long term with this and helping the community financially? Yeah, for sure. No fines are being put on now. So some people look on their computer and they say, wow, you know, it says I owe five hundred dollars. You don't really, don't worry. It's it's just the computer automatically applies the value of the book after a certain period. So everybody kind of owes a bunch of money, but that's not going to last. Like you'll clear those items. So if you have a book out, say for, you know, two months because of the closure, once you return that book, all the fines will be removed from your card. And in terms of a longer term, uh, fine free. So Quinny West, like you say, is six months. We haven't uh, determined like an exact timeline yet, but it will be, you won't have fines for the first, you know, for the next uh, few weeks for sure. Whether we go a little beyond that is up to our library board. Uh, so there's going to be some discussion about that at our next uh, library board meeting in June. Definitely don't worry about fines. And especially right now, if you see like a lot of money owed on your card, that's that's not gonna, you're not gonna have to pay that. <laughs> All right, Trevor, thank you very much. Hopefully our viewers right now are resting a little bit easier because I certainly have seen my account bill go up as well. All right, Trevor, well, Bubble Library is always known for putting a lot of programs out there consistently. And the virtual branch has really been heating up, especially during the pandemic. So do you want to start with Tech Tuesday, perhaps, giving us a bit of insight on what's happening on those Zoom sessions? Sure. So we're doing a lot online. Um, the virtual stuff, you know, ebooks, movies, um, there's, there's a ton of stuff. You can take courses, um, you know, uh, databases for information. 
that's all available for you 24 hours and you know and again no fines or anything like that um so our staff are doing a lot of that right now so the tech tuesdays great example it's um two o'clock on tuesdays and they do different topics like it's um it's over zoom and there's different uh, technology that they talk about and they tell you how to do things um and uh we also have things like virtual book clubs uh there's a discussion group on facebook that's called uh belleville reads mm -hmm. belleville ontario reads so you can talk about the books you're reading um one really kind of fun thing we're doing on facebook is uh your your pet pet challenge it's called so you post a picture of your pet reading a book so there's some really cute pictures of of pets reading you know just things like that um, we have our summer reading club that'll come up uh, near the end of june that's again going to be a virtual experience and uh yeah there's um there's a lot of stuff i i, I probably will forget things <laughs> if i go through it um but there's also a lot going on with our art gallery with the parrot gallery there's virtual shows um, that you can go online and see the different art and uh, that's got some really high quality um, images and things from artists. So that's again through our website. Yeah, Nowhere to halt, Call Home is the next one for the Parrot Gallery. A fantastic black and white photography exhibit. Uh, looking forward to that because that's right off until July 16th. So highly recommend going to that one as well. I'll be logging on. And uh, for our friend uh, Richard Hughes, host of Out of the Vault, uh, we will certainly be tuning into a 19th century pandemic. That session happening Friday, June 26th. Trevor, as the Chief Executive Officer, what has really struck you with the Belleville community, but more importantly, the community of libraries in, in this area really pulling together and providing some additional um, educational content for us all as we're finding more time on our phones these days? Yeah, so all the libraries in Ontario have, you know, some online service for sure. We're not unique. I think we've been good about really having a lot of online stuff so like the hoopla service where you can download movies that's about five years old now for us so we're in a good position our board is very um technology uh they've got a good sort of modern view and a good uh um support to to be looking ahead and and doing a lot of digital stuff technology stuff teaching people how to use computers has always been one of our big things. Uh, and of course, um, you know, what is, what has struck me about the pandemic? Well, one of our main services is for people to be able to use computers, like come into the library and use computers because they don't have a computer at home. Uh, so we, you know, we're obviously not able to do that now. The province won't, you know, let us, um, and it's, it's not really safe, but um, when eventually we get the ability to have people come into the building, that'll be a really valued service. So that, that's something that I think people will miss. Um, the free Wi-Fi, you know, things like that, that sort of bridge the gap. It's, uh, it's very expensive to have good internet. Uh, so in terms of the impact of the pandemic, I think A, it's kind of maybe raised some awareness about all the digital stuff and the virtual stuff that libraries were already doing. Um, and that's that's a positive. You know, no matter how much we promote, uh, some people don't really realize what we have, you know, and it's all free and it's, it's really easy to use, but if you need help with it, you can call us or you can email us and we'll help you out. Yes, and Instagram is always flying as well, as well with your team, uh, fantastic promoting everything. But I think as a, a real positive, Trevor, the virtual branch has really shown us the breadth of information you have in your collection. All right, Trevor Pross, the Chief Executive Officer with the Belleville Public Library, wishing you, Holly, and all your team well. Thank you so much for all you're doing, especially right now. Thank you. Really appreciate you having me here.